In this video, we're going to talk about where to spend gold as well as different ways to acquire it. So gold is a currency that you actually store in your inventory and the more you collect it, it doesn't actually go up in weight, it always weighs zero. You're always going to keep it on you because you can use this to buy things as well as sell things to get gold. The most efficient way to get gold is by doing dungeons to get resources like this, which it says here can be sold to a merchant for a high price. Same with rubies as well as like a precious plume. The only thing these are good for is to be sold. And you'll get these by doing the end bosses in dungeons like this. This is what is called a dungeon in Pell World. It's basically like a black like entrance way, randomly hidden. There are a ton of them, a lot more than you would think. They are not marked on the world map. You actually have to mark them yourself. When you do come across one, I recommend putting a symbol like a star or even like a you know, like the horns, you just have to do the make a marker thing here where it says press E on me for like me, it says marker for E. So I go ahead, I press E and you can go ahead and make the marker and mark these different dungeons and you are able to do them as they reset. For example, I've just done this one. And if you go up to it here, you can see the time until expiration is over there. It's 196 minutes right now. The boss is going to be a level 13 and the one specifically in here was Tansy. Now that's a great way to get gold as well as those random chests that you find throughout the world using your copper keys that you get from some enemies. You'll just naturally accumulate gold. Now where do you spend this gold? In order to spend gold, you're going to be looking for something called the Wandering Merchants. You can actually find one specifically in a settlement. I've also seen them running around in the open world. So if I go ahead and I fast travel here, we're actually going to the small settlement over here as I slowly zoom in at this location. You can actually see it's got a fast travel point called small settlement. The coordinates, as you can tell at the bottom left, are 75, negative 487 or 86. So right at this spot over here, I'm going to fast travel here. And from here, you're going to run down into the small settlement and you'll see there is a guy there behind the campfire and the gossiping villager in this like, you know, shack over here called the Wandering Merchant. You're going to run up to them. You're going to talk to them and here you'll be given the option to buy and sell. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sell and you right click the stuff that you want to sell. So I'm going to sell those and those and those. That's all I want to sell for now. This is going to give me 7,450 gold. Let's go ahead and sell and we get it. And now we have 21,000 gold. Pretty cool. And we can talk to him again and we can go ahead and use the option to buy. And you can see he sells a bunch of different things that you might need for collecting like, you know, organs, horns, bones, milk, leather and whatnot. The one thing that I use him the most for is actually for arrows because you can get an arrow for five gold because right now in the Xbox Game Pass version of the game, you have you can only craft one arrow at a time. I believe on Steam you guys can craft three. That's broken. So the best way to get arrows for us is to actually buy them, you know, five gold at a time like this. And I just go buy, you know, a hundred arrows for 500 gold, which is nice and easy. Pretty cool. But of course you can get those other materials a lot quicker too if those are what you're looking for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.